job time now for a money Monday. It's that time of year when people suddenly start to realize, right, that their debt is piling up and it's only going to get worse. I guess the question is, what can we do about it kind of before the end of the year? Certified financial planner Joe Burt joins us this morning to talk more about it. Good morning to you, Joe. Morning, Joe. It's good to see you. And you know what? It is true because so many people have this debt because they're buying more, right, oh, yeah. than they would normally buy during the course of the year. Is there a way that they can clean up this mess before the end of the year? Well, first thing you need to understand is where you are. Right. Because it's so easy to go in a store today or even easier to sit behind your desk or your computer at home or mm -hmm, your iPad mm -hmm. and say, this looks good, this looks good, this looks good. And before and you know it. you're not thinking about the money that well, you're spending. You're not thinking about it. And they, a recent survey, they found about 10% of the people are still paying for last year's oh Christmas right now. Yeah. And debt is an awful thing. Right. It'll ruin your retirement. It'll ruin your financial situation. So you want to get it in control. So the first thing is, is figure out where you are. Even though you don't have the bills yet, hopefully you still have the receipts. Get an idea of where you are. Okay. Now, here's, because listen, we've only got three weeks left, right, right. until the end of the year. You can year, do so a lot of damage in three weeks. You can do weeks. a lot of damage in three weeks. And <laughs> right. so what do you do then, Joe, if you can't pay it off well, by the end of the year? Okay. What, if you, most people can't, and what they're going to do is put it on a credit card. Mm. And so what you have to do is get your, understand where you are come the first year. Look mm -hmm. at those credit cards. Mm -hmm. Look at what that situation is. And then begin to figure out how we're going to whittle it down. And most people, uh, if you're only making minimum payments, you're in trouble. So what you need to do, you need to have some more income. And I know this may sound challenging mm -hmm. for some people, but consider getting another job, part-time. Do something. Pick up an extra 100, 200 bucks a week, and before you know it, you can begin to knock it down. Or, if you got some extra junk laying around the house, put it on eBay, ah. Craigslist. That, but you got to look at how you can get some more income. Yeah. yeah. I, and I think that's important for people to realize that there are other ways, but what happens if, let's say you can't pay this debt off and you're kind of drowning a little bit. Yeah. Is it beneficial to call the company? Yes. It is? Yes. Okay. It, it is. Yeah, be honest with them. Be upfront. Tell them, listen, I've run into a cash bind. I want to pay this off. Can you work with me? What can you... Now, some will, some won't, but it doesn't hurt to pick up the phone. They're not going to jump through the phone and grab you by the neck. Right. You know? but so <laughs> right. don't be don't be afraid to do it. Be honest upfront, and oftentimes you can work that out. The next thing you have to do is get rid of the credit cards. It's so easy mm -hmm. to pull that plastic out. We want it. We want it now. And that's where the discipline comes in. And then what you need to do is when you look at your spending, look at what the mandatory things are. And then we have discretionary spending. Uh -huh. We need to understand the difference. You know, you got to make a mortgage payment, maybe a rent payment. You got to pay for the water, the like insurance, all that stuff. Those are not discretionary. Those are mandatory. And those are things that come first. Those, those, those things that should you come know, first. Right. Yeah, but you know, you know, the thing is, is that people, because they're afraid of the, of the collection calls, they're going to pay on the credit card and maybe let the mortgage payment or the water bill or the insurance bill slip. And that's where you run into real financial trouble. Recognize what needs to be paid, get that paid, and then the credit cards, try working on a deal with credit card companies. Mm. But the most important thing, Danielle, yeah. is, to, is to understand what you're spending and try to stay out of debt. So where can people go for more information? Just get a hold of me, Joe Burt. Google it, two words, B-E-R-T. Two words, I like two that. Words. Keep it short and sweet, <laughs> that's, Joe. That's it, you Do got you know it. this is our first time here yeah. together doing this? And how was it? And you gave me great information. <laughs> <There you go>. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully I can get it all done before the end of the year. Yeah. Thank you, Joe.